am Juliana Brosti, Traveling Jewels. I'm an Emmy Award winning travel video journalist and I have my own travel video production company. I've traveled all over the world, visited two dozen countries. And among the things that make an international trip so unique, the people, the culture, the food, planning a trip overseas is also a bit different. So here are a few of my travel tips. All right, let's face it. It's gonna be a long flight. Do something that makes you feel good and wear something comfortable. I love to wear stretchy pants, stretchy jeans, so you can move around easily. And of course, always bring an extra layer. I like to bring a little scarf with me so that I can be warm in over air conditioned airplanes. And you know those free blankets? They just never seem to be warm enough. Pack snacks. When traveling, it's so easy to get stressed out or worse, hangry. Pack a snack and you'll save yourself from a hunger emergency. I recommend snacks that won't melt, like a granola bar or nuts. And my go-to, Haribo gummy bears. They can make a bad day turn great. And remember that you can't bring fruit or vegetables into foreign countries, so be sure to eat everything before you go through customs. When traveling internationally, worldwide travel adapters are a must. If you're like me and you have a computer, a camera, and a cell phone to charge, you gotta have two sets minimum. You can never seem to wait for things to charge one by one. Also, don't forget your chargers. You'd be so sad without this one. And I always bring an extra phone charger because this will keep you powered up all day long. Now it's time to get organized. I like to check in online so I can print my boarding pass at home and saves me the hassle of waiting in long lines. Also, bring a copy of important documents. I like to keep a copy electronically in my email and as well, I put a copy in my luggage. One of the most important parts about international travel is to get your finances in order. Be sure to call your bank and credit card in advance to let them know about your travel plans. Also, research their fees and policies on overseas transactions. Try to find a card with no fees. If you can help it, avoid exchanging money at the airport. You can usually get the best exchange rates at local ATMs. Now that you have your cash, here's an idea. Instead of putting it all back in your wallet, split it up. Put some in a different place, and that way, if your wallet goes missing, you always have a backup. All right, now it's time to head out. Give yourself plenty of time. Remember that every airport and each destination has their own requirement on time, so be sure to research in advance. As a general rule, I like to arrive about two hours in advance for international flights. Now that you've got these international travel tips down, it's time to focus on the fun stuff. I'm off on my next adventure, and you can follow along on TravelingJewels.com or follow Traveling Jewels on Facebook and Instagram. Happy travels!